ambassador mainly by uh, sorry for interruption sir uh, um, shifali ma'am uh, funder sir this is a serial number 1 project ssg bank linkage yes. this is serial number 1 not 2 huh okay yeah serial number 1 ssg bank linkage project okay. Um, um, uh, SARP is committed to um, eliminate poverty by bringing um, all uh, rural poor together, essentially by um, uh, building um, uh, groups of SHG women. And for the last 20 years, that is two decades, uh, AP state has been a pioneer in this uh, regard. And uh, more than uh, now today, there are uh, many um, SHG groups, lakhs of SHG groups and uh, that have been formed. And uh, we are having presently more than 8.6 lakh groups that are there formed um, with the rural women. And the main uh, success has been uh, in empowering these women, both socially and economically. The social uh, empowerment has happened by forming these groups and by creating a lot of awareness activities, by um, uh, making them aware of their rights and um, uh, activities uh, that are there under NRLM like uh, FNHW and uh, gender and all those activities. And by economic empowerment has been achieved by um, uh, um, making the bank credit accessible to these women. And if it can be seen, um, uh, it has been a study progress. And um, uh, the decade of 2000 was uh, the, the rural women uh, and the rural sector uh, was plagued by um, the uh, menace of microfinancing uh, um, um, you know, uh, institutions uh, uh, that had uh, uh, been lending uh, uh, rural poor uh, at a very high uh, rates of interest. And this had a lot of impact on uh, uh, these uh, uh, income levels of the poor, and it was uh, also impacting the growth. And once SARP started making these women access uh, uh, bank credit easier, we have been able to achieve a great uh, um, empowerment of uh, these women. So I would just run through this. Uh, what is the need for financial inclu inclusion? This uh, access is essential prerequisite for poverty reduction and sustainable development. And the problems that were there in the past, like um, as I said, uh, uh, multiple uh, policies were being implemented by promoting access. However, share of rural poor was very low. And uh, lending uh, the rural pool continues to be um, uh, considered as a risky by the banks, um, which is now no more. I will show you how it has been done. Um, solution is availability of credit at an affordable cost, effective credit delivery mechanism. Next slide. The objective has been, this is, this is um, uh, how it has uh, happened, the evolution process, uh, starting from nationalization, rapid expansion of bank branches, RRBs, NABAD, all these had a um, um, great uh, impact on uh, financial inclusion. Next. So NABAD um, um, had in fact um, um, enabled uh, um, uh, the SSG movement, the growth in SSG movement, and it has acted as a catalyst. Um, uh, then uh, SERP uh, has provided a great uh, support structure to facilitate uh, poverty reduction through social mobilization and improvement of livelihoods. And uh, we have um, all the village level organizations um, then uh, cluster level federations, uh, district level federations, and uh, we have a workforce of nearly 35,000 uh, uh, people in the state. So um, uh, we coordinate um, with the banks uh, very closely um, and regular uh, meetings have been, um, uh, are being conducted. Next. So this bank linkage program is a key strategy and um, uh, by collaborating with all these um, banks regularly, uh, we have made uh, these um, uh, women access credit and um, do take up a lot of uh, uh, activities. And if it can be seen, almost last year, we stood first in the country with almost 30% of national share, which is um, a phenomenal uh, achievement. And uh, recovery rate is 99.5%. And that is the reason why banks are very keen. In fact, now they are, this year, they are in fact competing with each other banks uh, to um, uh, provide loans, uh, looking at this uh, recovery rate. Next slide. So this is the uh, federation model, uh, which is there in AP. If you, if you can see um, here, the corpus fund of these organizations, these uh, village uh, level federations, uh, then uh, cluster level federations, district federations, they have a saving of about 8,600 crores and corpus of about 10,716 crores. 
So uh, all these um, uh, village level federation, they strengthen SHGs, arrange lines of credit to SHGs, social actions, support activities, and uh, uh, marketing is, uh, they is supported by village level federations. Then uh, cluster level federations, which we call Mandal Samakhyas, they, um, they support all these village organizations and uh, Jilla Samakhyas, which are district federations, they um, uh, conduct market interference and insurance and job skills and development. Next slide. This is the status as of today. In fact, um, as I was telling you, AP has been a torch bearer in the country in implementation of these uh, uh, programs with the support of uh, banks. Um, 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 and then 30% uh, um, uh, as I was saying, national share and 99.5% recovery rate. And uh, in figures, uh, 8.64 lakh SHGs and 90 lakh SHG uh, members cumulatively have leveraged, have leveraged about 1.5 lakh for crores uh, SHG bank linkage for the last nine years. Next slide. So this can be seen, ma'am. So this is nine years, um, sir, you, if you can see, sir, then uh, top 10 states, Andhra Pradesh stands uh, first with uh, 154,000 uh, crores uh, bank credit that has been, uh, bank advances that has been given to the, uh, this SHG women. Next slide. This is the last year, um, almost 34,000, which is, um, a very um, um, good growth rate, you can see from um, uh, 2021, uh, 21,000, now it is uh, 34,194 crores. Next slide. And 98% outstanding uh, um, benchmark were, that was given by NRLM was 75% uh, and AP was uh, uh, first with 98%. Next. The average credit which has been advanced to SHG is 5.31 lakh. So, which is again a, a very um, sizable amount. Uh, that means the amount should be uh, good enough to take up some livelihood activity, um, which can sustain their livelihood and also generate additional uh, um, income for the family so that they come out of the poverty uh, net. Next. So, percentage of NPA, as I was telling, uh, it is 99.5% recovery. That means only 0.5% NPA. And... Um, um, and we stand first in the country with uh, uh, this uh, uh, amazing uh, NPA rate. Next slide. So the, um, recently our um, DGM finance was awarded in the um, um, uh, workshop which was held at um, uh, uh, Varnasi and he has been, uh, he, he, because he took part there and the uh, uh, state was recognized and he was awarded uh, this certificate of appreciation. Next slide. So these have been the challenges uh, which we have faced. Um, one is that reducing rates of interest because very high interest rates uh, um, at uh, high interest rates if they um, borrow um, it will not help them um, in um, you know getting uh, um, uh, their additional income and um, um, uh, supporting them to utilize these funds uh, uh, in a proper manner for creation of sustainable livelihoods so that also has been a challenge and um, loan documentation process whether it is a loan for 10,000 or whether it is a loan for 10 lakh or whether it is a loan for 50 lakh, the documentation process is same. Um, so it, it would have 20 pages to be um, uh, filled up. So um, uh, they, they were having these uh, problems. Then um, uh, um, for the, if they take loan of 20,000 or 30,000 and uh, processing charges um, if, uh, are uh, um, uh, you know charged by banks, it would um, um, also... Uh, burden these uh, women. So then uh, there was this uh, lack of uh, rapport between SHG women and banks. Reluctance to sanction loans was one of the criteria uh, to poor SHG women. All these challenges uh, we had overcome. Next slide. By having uh, real-time analytical reports through data sharing arrangement with partners. So with banks, we have been getting regular um, 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 uh, reports uh, and this we, we analyze uh, uh, with our um, a bank linkage software which we have developed at UCS and uh, we um, uh, generate various MIS reports to see um, you know um, uh, who exactly how much uh, credit has been extended to which group. Then um, banks we have um, uh, requested them to have uh, applications in local language. Then uh, we have um, 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 our own uh, uh, TCS software where we develop uh, this uh, process this uh, house, household livelihood plans and micro credit plans and then um, um, uh, uh, provide loans. Now we have an app with uh, a village level functionary called VOA, Village um, Organization Assistant. 
at the grassroots level um, we have around 28000 uh, such people and uh, when they um, uh, when uh, they go to the sg women and uh, they enter their they prepare get this prepared uh, livelihood plan and enter into enter into the app then uh, um, it, it go they go to the bank their loan is processed by the bank so this kind of um, 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 uniform um, uh, uh, practices uh, best practices are there in the field so we and uh, most of the women are encouraged to uh, use this for livelihood only and then uh, state government has come up with many um, uh, many more schemes like where uh, um, the state government has entered into an mou with uh, mnc partners uh, like um, procter and gamble reliance uh, uh, and um, um, we have uh, uh, nestle um, with all this amul all these um, um, companies we have entered into uh, an mou wherein uh, uh, these women are um, they can have retail shops textile shops and uh, all these um, um, uh, commodities are supplied at a, um, a lesser rate and then they are also encouraged we are also having uh, um, uh, mous with uh, social enterprise organizations like uh, um gvk g for international and um, um, other organizations who um, 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 give uh, livelihood um, uh, who interventions uh, in the form of backyard poultry or um, um, some uh, farm or non farm activities so all these are this kind of support capacity building is done by the serp staff and also by um, our mou partners in fact of late we have recently entered into mou with even nhai um, and then uh, um amazon saheli um and um, um, flipkart nrlm has entered into mou we are um, um, um onboarding many uh, products which are um, um, made by the sg women so all these um, activities are being done so with this uh, we have now we are now able to um, uh, access uh, bank credit in a sizable uh, manner for all these women and banks also looking at the recovery rate they are also Uh, coming forward next slide now uh, last year one uh, circular that was given by um, rbi had uh, said that collateral without any collateral um, uh, loans can be given up to uh, 20 lakhs to sg and uh, in uh, state of ap most of the um, uh, banks came forward to give um, uh, you know loans of uh, 20 lakhs for sgs so this was uh, that that's the reason why you can see uh, a um, uh, rapid increase from 2021 and 21 22 the amount one was it was post covid period second was this uh, circular also helped and then uh, um, ssg bank linkage became a major portfolio of many banks in fact um, 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 in more than slbc meetings that is state level bankers uh, committee meetings uh, we have many sub committee meetings and more most of the bankers visit now sarp head of is regularly saying that we have this scheme for uh, your ssg women and um, uh, why don't you um, you know take this up or we will take up this activity in particular this area of your uh, um, 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 this uh, geographical area this activity will take up so the, the scene has reversed from um, uh, sarp um, um, uh, office um, approaching banks now banks are approaching us in fact they are saying it, it appears you have entered into a um, uh, this thing with um, moa with uh, sbi now union bank has come forward so like that this is this has been happening so which is a welcome feature and this year july last month there has been a, again circular from uh, rbi saying that collateral free individual loans so shg collateral free loan the uh, the upper limit it has been enhanced to 20 lakhs at the same time for enterprise setup a 10 lakhs um, loan collateral free loan can be given to an individual shg member so this uh, uh, nrlm has entered into an mou with um, um, sbi at um, um, um uh, gyi level and um, they have promised to um, you know take up uh, this enterprise um, uh, they have given a target and this target of uh, 500 was given to ap by to achieve by this uh, december end and we have already achieved the highest number of 125 um, uh, up to august 15th so uh, that is also uh, we are standing first in the country again there also so this collateral free individual loans has really um worked uh, well many banks are approaching us uh, to give uh, these uh, loans to shg women here what we can um, we are now convincing many shg groups uh, we are having awareness programs um, um, we are um, uh, saying that uh, their their 
already enterprise which are there existing they can uh, become uh, hoe higher order enterprises so second then uh, we had uh, uh, held many meetings with the banks and we were successful in uh, reducing the rate getting the rates reduced from 13.5% to 9.5% uh, so most of the loans are given um, are extended at a um, lower rate of 9.5% so which has this has had a great impact on um, a, on the increase in uh, bank loans uh, bank credit for the rural women so uh, um, uh, today i'm uh, we see that uh, uh, the shg women in uh, ap state of ap are totally economically empowered and having a great say in their household so um, uh, that has been a um, uh, very um, uh, welcoming feature and um, the entire um, uh, credit goes to uh, these women who are making use of this credit also and um, uh, turning this uh, into very sustainable livelihoods and uh, number of livelihoods um, uh, various livelihoods uh, have been undertaken many of them even though still uh, a majority of them are agri based farm related or livestock related but they are successful so they are um, having a greater say in the income of the household so this is this is the major outcome um, uh, that has happened i also thank uh, the intervention from uh, there has been intervention from the highest level um, uh, in the state uh, um, uh, by impressing upon uh, bankers in slbc meetings to reduce loans so most of the banks have come forward so 9.5% is for loans above 3 lakhs in fact some banks have lesser rate uh, for um, less than 3 lakhs also um, uh, which is again um, um, a good feature so with all this now um, we are able to um, um, you know uh, achieve the position of uh, top um, uh, number 1 in the country uh, with a very good recovery rate of uh, 99% so 80% of the credit invested uh, is uh, into some livelihood activities this is being regularly monitored by us by our field staff um, uh, by capturing all the details in um, um, our apps so this is uh, in respect of bank linkage thank you thank you thank you this is a, uh, i must say this is a remarkable achievement in terms of you are coming over the hurdles that we have been facing for the last 20 years and all especially in in optimizing the bank loans in the benefit of the beneficiaries and uh, there had been a predicament between the match between the demand from the beneficiary side and the banks uh, willingness to give so that reluctance part has been overcome successfully and the success of the stories is the 90% 99% recovery of which 80% are from the ssg so it is a great thing that it speaks of its own outcome if 99% recovery there means the people who have taken the loan or who have been facilitated to get the land by the all by hand holding and other incentives and supports and uh, help that you have provided through the activities that you have now innovatively you know put in place so this is speaks up a great thing but if one would like to know i mean i'm i have very impressed with the way you overcome such a huge uh, you know activity economic activity for benefit of the uh, a large number of marginal marginalized persons yes. now the only thing that one would like to know see having successfully provided the loan and recovered the loan how would we assess the impact as to how much transformation it has brought in the life of the people see if i take loan come what may whether i am successful or not i may return it but to say that i used the loan properly for the purpose it was given and i have achieved this part of uh, you know achievement i have accrued to that is what speaks of the ultimate success so what could be the impact of such Uh, you know making easy loan accessibility and also recovery 99% between this what is the transformation one could be one could see visibly that this is what in this process of loan sanctioning and loan recovery this is what has happened as a success story yes sir sir in fact um, we have documented many um, success stories uh, and um, um, uh, every district and every mandal has come up with uh, uh, this documentation Uh, we have had some impact studies done by uh, ngos 
and this year uh, we are going to engage irma to uh, make an impact uh, assessment of uh, um, uh, livelihood activities that are taken up uh, um, uh, by uh, after entering into mou with various uh, mncs so that is being taken up already we had uh, two rounds of discussions with um, uh, uh, their team and uh, they are making an impact uh, assessment this year the very fact that um, uh, the recovery rates are good and um, at the time of um, initiation at the time of uh, initiation of the documentation process itself we are making a household livelihood plan and uh, um, um, uh, mandal credit plan this uh, uh, mcps so we are um, uh, at the field level we are trying to um, uh, encourage uh, these women to stick to these uh, um, uh, plans and uh, secondly uh, for um, the um, Yeah, for the groups of people who are there under this Cheyuta beneficiaries, so out of this seventy uh, um, lakh odd uh, women who had access credit, about twenty five lakh are under coming under Cheyuta scheme. There we are having a real time monitoring system of capturing their livelihoods uh, incomes uh, periodically. So for retail and um, um, uh, an app has been developed. In fact, uh, to um, analyze. Uh, Uh, what is the kind of income they are able to generate and the mandate that is given to us is to ensure at least a minimum uh, additional income generation of 10000 uh, per month uh, so that is the um, uh, target whereas uh, in some activities we are able to generate little less uh, maybe 4000 5000 uh, and some activities we are having more than 15 20000 rupees per month uh, by uh, taking up um, uh, by involving these women into these livelihood activities but at the end of the day our effort has been um, um, is uh, to ensure sustainable livelihoods uh, with some additional income generation and um, 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 uh, ensuring that these women stick to the livelihood plans certainly some of them um, in the beginning uh, the main um, um, uh, you uh, this thing was uh, to convert uh, to take the loans from these banks and use it for domestic needs essentially it was either health or education or marriage uh, purposes but later on once uh, as the movement uh, of shg movement uh, took deep roots uh, um, in state of ap now um, more and more women are turning into ent uh, entrepreneurs so that's a very uh, welcoming feature yeah excellent um, what what is actually impressing me is that it's kind of a self sustaining circle you are helping the women to get the loan from the banks they are taking a uh, loan higher loan repaying them 99.5% so the banks are ready to give them yes. so it's kind of you know uh, rolling uh, the one leads to the other and very nicely done your uh, awareness creation and things uh, linkages they really have been uh, proving helpful so excellent i have no specific questions thank you ma'am thank you sir with your uh, permission um i'll make the next present project and the main aim of the project was to turn all those um, food processing activities which are um, uh, there in unorganized sector to turn into to turn them into organized sector and it was a five year project and started last year so next slide the main uh, um, the objective being um, uh, to make them more organized and uh, to uh, provide market linkages to these people who are uh, have uh, indulging in the mainly rural women shg group women who are um, um, uh, making these uh, food products to access uh, um, you know a bigger markets or wider markets and then um, also provide credit linked um, uh, grant uh, with some kind of subsidy so this was a um, um, uh, um, uh, very good scheme and um, here uh, ap food processing uh, um, agency was the uh, nodal agency and uh, sarp is the implementing agency and uh, from their uh, food processing um, uh, agency 35% project um, cost was uh, given as a uh, subsidy and then um, um, then from uh, the uh, pmfme from the uh, gvi a seed capital of 40000 for sg member was given so um, uh, together uh, this enabled a lot of um, uh, credit uh, to the women uh, 
uh, who is uh, who is engaged in food processing activities so uh, the credit link grant at 35% of project cost and also um, uh, this uh, seed capital enabled all these women um, uh, who are uh, engaged in food processing activity to invest more into their uh, regular uh, activities and uh, um, uh, may, may make it uh, more organized and um, uh, enable them to um, have a, uh, a good uh, um, sales. So all this support was done, whether um, uh, it, it was in terms of accessing credit, secondly, giving them uh, support through uh, food processing agency um, as to get their uh, certifications, licenses, uh, FSSA um, uh, certificate is the first uh, step towards that, uh, which would make the, um, um, uh, the products made by the women accessible. Uh, most of the women, I said, women, uh, they uh, make pickles, uh, um, uh, they make um, all these um, 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 uh, <coughs> sweets and um, uh, many food products uh, which are locally sold, but uh, they cannot be sold outside for the lack of these certifications. All this uh, we had provided, all these trainings we had provided, all this support we had given them. And um, uh, by way of uh, strengthening, um, you know, branding, um, and also uh, marketing, an organized supply chain was made. Next slide. So um, as you can see, either existing food processing enterprise was identified or a new food processing enterprising was identified. 35% project, uh, percent of the project cost was given as subsidy up to 10 lakhs. And then beneficiary contribution was 10%, bank loan 55%. A, a very good um, uh, structure. So this would enable, uh, this enabled many, um, a, uh, um, SAG women to opt for this scheme. And uh, so we um, um, divided our activities into, one was into capacity building, then handholding support, marketing support, and financial assistance. And um, uh, we also um, tried to provide wherever possible warehouse, cold storage, and packaging, primary processing facilities. And also our food processing um, uh, agency came forward to give us a lot of uh, support uh, in uh, getting these licenses. And then uh, for uh, some of these existing or um, uh, processing enterprise, food uh, processing enterprise were um, um, elevated to HOE, higher order enterprise. For that, the eligibility was uh, 18 to 54 and uh, willingness to uh, contribute 10% of um, uh, project cost. So that also we have taken up many cases. Um, and um, 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 in fact, um, uh, we again, um, I'm happy to um, uh, you know state that uh, uh, in PMFMA scheme, EAP has been um, again the uh, leader in the entire country, both in uh, number of uh, individual uh, enterprises and as well as in HOE, higher order enterprise. Next slide. So 2021-22, we identified uh, more than 9,791 uh, units and um, 7,597 were established. And for them, we uh, gave 29.29 uh, .29 crores. <coughs> close has been released at 40,000 per member as seat captain. So then um, uh, there was also a credit um, 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 from bank credit additionally that was provided to them. And then 2,000 members have been identified and the amount is to be released. So even though these uh, uh, people were identified, um, the amount is to be released with there are some technical difficulties which uh, we will be doing. So even this 7,597 already um, established um, um, uh, uh, units have been making good progress. And then uh, finance tracking is done through, we have a, um, a federation, um, you know, we, by name Srinidhi, um, the MD of Srinidhi is sitting next to me. And uh, they, um, uh, they are a sister uh, concern of uh, SERP. Uh, they provide um, um, uh, finance uh, loans to all these SHG women. So that tracking is done of all the 7,597, we uh, finance through Srinidhi. And um, for higher order enterprise, we went ahead with banks. So uh, we are um, uh, tracking them. And then for 22, 23, we are targeting 10,000 um, uh, units and uh, seed capital target amount is 40 crores. As on uh, date, 5,549 have been uploaded. Next slide. So as can be seen, um, um, again here, AP has been uh, standing already approved by the uh, state uh, nodal agency 7,600 units uh, and uh, no other state uh, could cross 1,000. So this is from uh, 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 Ministry of uh, Food Processing uh, Industry at um, um, GY, uh, their inf um, uh, information as per their uh, uh, listing. 
AP is a market leader here. Next slide. So these were some of the challenge, challenges faced by both beneficiaries as well as SERP. Now, first to identify, uh, we, we, even though the um, uh, structure, the um, uh, the way this PM FME uh, functions are works, uh, yeah, that uh, structure has is very beautiful. Ten percent contribution beneficiary, thirty five percent subsidy, fifty five percent bank credit. In additionally, we have forty thousand seed capital. So this, uh, even though this has been very good, but identifying units uh, which are uh, facing some challenges and mobilizing all these uh, micro foot processing beneficiaries. Um, was uh, one of the um, uh, challenge faced by our uh, field level uh, people. Then um, uh, these uh, industries were, uh, these um, uh, entrepreneurs were facing, uh, beneficiaries were facing challenges. The main challenges were lack of access to modern technology or equipment, training, and access to institutional credit. I found um, uh, some of them wanted to do, um, um, you know, oil extraction, but they are not having access to uh, the modern uh, technology, mo modern extraction uh, machines. So we have taken up many such um, uh, units this time. You know, um, a lot of um, uh, now people post COVID are uh, uh, um, are interested in um, consuming foods uh, um, uh, with uh, some kind of nutrient values, and um, uh, more and more people are um, now consuming edible oils, which are just um, extracted um, uh, by these small uh, uh, rotary kind of um, uh, you know um, uh, machines uh, instead of uh, um, oils which are processed, refined um, in the bigger units. So uh, uh, these uh, small, um, um, uh, you know, extraction um, uh, machines were supplied to, to many of the uh, PM FME beneficiaries. Then loan request applications were pending. At so sorry for interruption, sir. Yes. Uh, can you please conclude your presentation in two minutes, sir? Yes. So many challenges were there. Uh, lack of basic awareness was there. Um, and then um, uh, in quality control, they were not having certificates and uh, some technical problems we faced in other duplication like all this. There were some NPA in SOG groups. Next slide. So we overcome um, all these challenges by having awareness programs in PME, FME, on PMFME scheme. And then uh, grounding of higher and order enterprise also we was done by respect to district DPMs and APMs. Um, and uh, we organized some Dwakra bazaars and Saras exhibitions in the districts um, for um, uh, you know uh, providing market to all these uh, products. And then um, now we have, as I was telling, we have made um, um, online. Uh, we have uh, boarded uh, many products, uh, especially food products. Like we have famous Putarekal, uh, a small uh, sweet, uh, 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 finer sweet made in Iskodavari district. So all such kind of um, you know. Bandar Halwa, uh, they are all having uh, GS certifications. All that have been now um, uh, boarded into online. Uh, and then next slide. Um, and then uh, we had some innovations with our apps. Uh, and then uh, uh, we um, time to time we had data from uh, Srinidhi DCB report was taken, and um, we replaced uh, uh, some of the uh, members above age. And all this was done. And PMFME website also was provided to all our DPM level um, and APM level uh, functionaries um, um, to uh, you know uh, enable them to submit their documentation and all that uh, and uh, approval of D DLC in a um, uh, quicker um, um, you know period of time. Next slide. So this is the process identification of new or existing SSG APM center member details in the NRLM side and then state level committee gives the approvals and then loan amount. <laughs> 60% share and state government share 40% is released. And this uh, amount is released to Mandal Samakhyas. Next slide. So the outcome has been, you, you are seeing now 7,500 uh, beneficiaries already grounded and higher order enterprise also getting 35% from um, subsidy. So uh, there, there, there has been a lot of success stories which can be seen in the slides coming. Next slide. So um, uh, here you can see many of these um, um, activities that are uh, done. Um, and um, um, uh, making, uh, whether it is roti making or whether it is um, um, oil extraction or whether it is biscuit making, all these um, uh, they have been doing quite well. Next slide. So the one success story which we had um, uh, given uh, to NRLM uh, was uh, a small sweets and bakery shop uh, who were not able to make anything out of it uh, even though they were uh, in the business for so many years. Now with this um, subsidy and with this seed capital, 
uh, they are making more than 500 uh, rupees every day next slide so this is the uh, beneficiary she is quite happy next so this is the fssa certificate given to them next so these are chapati making units next so these are pickles and papad units we are next so pickles you can see now nicely packed earlier they were not being done they were um, uh, being packed in a um, uh, not a proper manner where, where consumer preferences were very low for that next now this is millets now um, uh, recently there has been a lot of emphasis on millets now 2023 being an international year of millets we are focusing on millet uh, uh, promotion next so this oil extraction unit i was telling you many many of the people are um, um, uh, willing to buy these oils um, even uh, even at a higher rate than the oil which is refined and processed and this comes uh, this uh, machinery comes at 3.5 lakh rupees uh, um, um, and um, uh, with that 35 percent subsidy and 10% uh, is the contribution remaining 55% is uh, bank uh, alone um, uh, this uh, beneficiary has been quite uh, happy next so noodles unit has been started in many places next so this is a bakery in uh, karnal next so these are some of the success stories in pmfme again i was i was uh, um, uh, putting it before the committee uh, that um, um, ap uh, used this uh, uh, beautiful uh, scheme uh, to at least make um, you know 10000 entrepreneurs uh, um, you know make use of all these uh, facilities and uh, turn uh, their uh, uh, small activities into a sustainable livelihood success stories thank you FME is one of the well-conceived schemes to, uh, you know, develop the potentiality of the state and the need of the state in setting up units through uh, micro food processing. And of course, the scheme is well-conceived is not enough unless it's impl implemented the way you are implementing it. You have been implementing very successfully in many areas. But some of the problems you have identified, this includes unit identification, quality control. The how do you unit identification, what mechanism you have developed and what rationality you have adapted to unit identification and quality control, what mechanism you do have in place. And the most important part is the objective of this micro uh, level food processing. This is not only for income generation, but also it provides some kind of employment revenues for the local. So how much, how, how many of the, these micro units that you, units you set up or you supported have generated employment opportunities? How many people have got employment through this thing? And in terms of, uh, you know, economic upliftment, what is the pre and post income generation level and what is the gain is that can you reflect on that yes sir in that story yeah yeah you can you can you can tell you can come here you can come here sir in fact um, um, some uh, units uh, um, we had visited these uh, units in east kodavari district now uh, they are um, employing uh, not less than 10 people so it was very heartening to note that uh, um, some women, uh, um, you know, uh, who are into micro food processing, uh, they are now employing about ten people. Uh, that is good. You you want to tell something? Uh, no. uh, sir, whatever he was uh, uh, said story, na no? street mm -hmm. soup. That lady previously she earned only five hundred rupees, sir. Now her income level is thousand rupees per month per day. So like that in each and every unit, the income levels are increased. Whatever we showed all the stories, their income levels is 500 to 3000 rupees like that, sir. Employment, employment. Even the employment is also majority of the units, they hire two to three lady employees are working in that. Whenever they require the major uh, activity or major, um, uh, the, what we call higher uh, Orders, no. At the time, they hired the men people also. Even the that where whoever working in that unit, they gave three hundred rupees per wage compensation, sir. Okay. Okay. 
Thank you. Yeah, excellent. Um, actually, you have really implemented the project for the benefit, not just like a project, a routine project. So that's why it is giving dividends. I just want to know, Kyurya, that you said 10,000 beneficiaries are there with the scheme. Uh, uh, what is your plan for uh, upgrading? I mean, uh, making it larger. I mean, taking it to a larger base. That is number one. And number two question is that employment, which uh, Mr. Panda was asking, how much employment generation has happened? So uh, I understand two to three uh, women are being employed. Uh, are these SSG women or they are just when women nearby? Uh, most of the women in um, uh, AP are um, uh, SSG women only. They are all members. So you have got a very high rate of SSG enrollment. Yes, ma'am. This ten thousand. Why we are limiting is uh, the scheme designed uh, um, ensures so that because of the forty crore because of the uh, forty crore uh, brand. So that is the um, amount limit is there. Uh, achha, that 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 is the reason. But uh, you can go. Uh, Achha, yeah. that, that has to come from government of India, the brand. That has to come from government of India. So that is why. Right, fine. Thank you very much. Thank Quite you. impressive. pension to receive benefit unduly. This has been the cardinal principle. So um, um, now the main uh, thing is to um, all those uh, deprived, destitutes, um, 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 disadvantaged sections of the society are supposed to be provided this uh, um, um, social security pension. But over a period of time, in AP, we have started uh, giving to many um, um, social um, uh, um, uh, sectors also. So uh, the number of beneficiaries has gone up. It is not uh, with only the number of beneficiaries uh, or the amount that is being given, but the way it has been dispersed. That is uh, what um, uh, I would like to draw attention of uh, um, uh, the learned um, um, uh, judges that uh, mainly the way it is dispersed um, using technology and using a big workforce in the field. Uh, the state of AP has um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, implemented for the last three years um, a, a scheme called, uh, you know, establishing secretariats at uh, village level. So, in addition to village panchayats, uh, we are having uh, um, now what are called offices of secretariats in a village. Uh, maybe some villages have one secretariat, some villages have two, some villages have three. Um, uh, on the basis of one secretariat for uh, uh, 2,000, 3,000 um, population wherein uh, various um, um, functionaries sit, uh, some taking care of welfare, some taking care of engineering needs, some taking care of uh, survey, some taking care of revenue, like this about 10 functionaries sit there, some taking care of agriculture. In addition to these uh, functionaries who are uh, uh, government employees, we have de um, uh, deployed volunteers, about 2.5 like uh, volunteers in the um, entire state, who are um, 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 there for either 50 or 100 households, we are having one volunteer. So the disbursement uh, method, methodology um, is unique in the sense that uh, earlier pension was to be given at a panchayat um, um, office and uh, many old and infirm and uh, uh, physically challenged were made to stand in queue and this process of uh, disbursement used to take three, four days and they, they, you, they had to stand uh, for longer, longer hours. Now, uh, the uh, method is, uh, it is uh, dispersed by deploying all these 2.6 lakhs volunteers. So what, what, what is done by SERP is, uh, the SERP uh, uh, deploys technology and also this workforce. And, uh, um, uh, and the first day of the month, uh, uh, these uh, disbursement starts from 4 a.m. And by the end of the day, more than 90% is disbursed in a single day. So, which is phenomenal, the beneficiary need not get out of his house, he can stay in the house and the pension is delivered to him uh, in cash uh, and uh, technology is uh, used by, um, um, you know, taking in a tab uh, the beneficiary authentication, either Aadhaar, wherever Aadhaar fails, we deploy Iris, where both fail, 
we develop uh, we deploy the most uh, modern technology state of our technology called arbis technology real um, uh, beneficiary identification by um, um, uh, facial recognition uh, methods so this is this way we are able to disperse more than 99.27% in less than 3 days um, um, and uh, um, in a um, in a way which is most convenient to the uh, uh, beneficiary so uh, the method of the disbursement uh, deserves a lot of uh, um, appreciation so the objective has been to uh, the overall process is beneficiary identification processing of new application validation sanction and all this has been done as per um, um, sla and then major objective is to roll out pension schemes for various categories not only um, old age not only for the widowers not only for challenged many uh, categories like transgenders health and medical uh, pensions we are giving um, 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 uh, we are giving to fishermen we are giving to single women we are giving to cobblers uh, traditional cobblers we are giving to some artists called dappu kalakarlu um, um, so all this um, uh, is being done so it is a doorstep de service uh, delivery that is done by the volunteers which is a game changer um, in the present um, uh, scenario next sir th this is the number of beneficiaries covered this month stand at 62 lakh and the amount disbursed is 1596 crores so uh, every month uh, all these 60 lakh card uh, beneficiaries they receive and more than um, 1500 crores almost 1600 crores is given as uh, um, uh, social security pension so the amount of pension ranges from for old age 2500 to 10000 in some cases of ckdu that is chronic um, uh, kidney diseases so um, um, all these categories uh, we give pensions uh, physically challenged are given 3000 so uh, old age we have about more than 30 lakh uh, beneficiaries uh, widows um, uh, we are having more than uh, 12 lakh uh, um, and then physically challenged, we have more than 7 lakh uh, physically challenged, weavers 90,000, tardy tappers about 50,000. Like this, entire uh, beneficiaries, we have about 62 lakh. Next. So the challenges has been integrating two different APIs uh, as household data from one source and validation criteria. Because the beneficiary, um, um, uh, uh, the criteria of eligibility is very strictly defined. And um, uh, uh, there is a six-step validation done. Uh, the six-step validation ensures that uh, the beneficiary um, of pension, um, you know, passes through the six uh, steps. The one is that uh, he shall not, there shall not be a government employee in the family. The second step is they shall not be a four-wheeler in the family. The third step is they, they shall not have more than 10 acres of dry land or three acres of wetland. So like this, there are six steps. Their electricity consumption shall be less than um, um, uh, 300 units per month. So the, they have to pass through six steps. So this validation is done by um, uh, our um, 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 software app uh, um, deployed by GSWS department. And then um, all these are, um, uh, um, this data is pulled from various departments because uh, land data has to be obtained from uh, revenue, land revenue department, um, vehicle data has to be obtained from uh, transport departments. So all this every month that is done in verification and uh, uh, then um, um, uh, this data mapping has to be done village ward secretariats. Now, what we do is this 62 lakh uh, are mapped to, now I have said 15,000 village and ward secretariats are there. So they are mapped to these secretariats. And then from secretariat level, the pensioners are mapped to volunteers. So every volunteer will have 18 uh, pensioners or um, uh, 30 pensioners or 10 pensioners. Now, um, um, SERP, uh, uh, they um, transfer the money every month uh, from the bank, uh, their bank account to all these secretariats, 15,000 secretariats, and from there, money is withdrawn and given to the pensioners a day before on 31st, and the uh, first morning, they give it to the um, um, uh, uh, pensioner by uh, deploying uh, biometric authentication. So in a secure, transparent uh, way, um, uh, money disbursement, pension disbursement is done, and 2.6 lakh uh, persons, they uh, volunteers are deployed. And from 7 to 9 p.m., uh, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., uh, the disbursement is done. And uh, and the first day itself, more than 90% uh, um, uh, uh, disbursement is done. And then wherever um, uh, we biometric fails, uh, we have um, other technologies used, Iris and Arbis. Yes. So these are some of the innovations. 
so that has been done and um, uh, the distribution being done at uh, doorsteps and then aadhar based and then health pensions have been inter introduced like uh, we have multi deformity leprosy we have uh, muscular dystrophy uh, paralysis hemophilia all these cases uh, we, are, we are giving pensions and um, uh, uh, then um, uh, first aid itself more than 90% next slide so these are the outcomes seven 17 categories of people are covered under ysr pension um, and then uh, uh, fingerprint and diary authentication so all uh, mobile applications are deployed next so these are some of the numbers you can see so very huge number of people they get uh, um, uh, social security pensions and various categories as i was telling so the eligibility this is the eligibility criteria and the six step validation that is done income tax payee shall not be there shall not be a government employee there shall not be um, um, he uh, six months average electricity consumption should be less than uh, 300 units they should not possess uh, a uh, built up area in um, uh, such and such uh, thousand square feet in urban areas so all these validations are done regularly and second pension in family is not allowed except uh, in cases of uh, uh, disabled so and uh, in the in a family a um, elderly person more than 60 years so the year the pension um, age limit is 60 years so beyond he is um, uh, eligible for old age so and disabled also can get so all this um, 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 you know criteria is uh, strictly deployed next slide so validations are done on a real time basis next sorry for in, uh, interruption sir can you yeah. please uh, conclude your yeah. presentation yeah. in 2 yeah. minutes then then we have uh, last next yeah internal and external interfaces where, as i was telling you gsws sadaram is a uh, is for physically challenged people uh, they have to have 40% deformity in NSAP, um, uh, National uh, Social Assistance Program, we have 80% as the criteria, but the state has uh, gone ahead with uh, all those people um, um, physically challenged and having 40% deformity, they are eligible. And RTGS, uh, real-time uh, govern governance system. So all these databases, we use internal and external faces and then the interfaces uh, to um, make this um, uh, disbursement happen in the best possible way. Next. So this is the architecture um, uh, only to just to show you uh, how it has been done. Next. So uh, this is the mobile application flow. So the user is a volunteer, then it displays uh, pensioners uh, information, other authentication is done and transaction details are entered. And um, 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 all this is uh, done on a regular basis and uh, list of pensioners for current month will be displayed in his app so that he knows how many people he has. it has to be done. Next slide. So this uh, facial recognition method is a latest uh, technology which is being used by um, you know artificially uh, intelligence based uh, uh, RIMS framework. And um, um, almost uh, every month about one lakh people for uh, one lakh people we use this. For many um, uh, elderly people, um, uh, the um, uh, features on the hand are so bad that um, um, biometric authentication uh, fails and uh, some of them uh, patients uh, medical patients are you know even iris fails so for the, them we use this arbis uh, technology next so these are the user schemes in um, arbis next so the achievements can be seen so um, uh, changes done in disbursement architecture um, uh, and real time basis we are able to do all this the robust uh, uh, technology is used next so at the doorstep it is given so in fact um, 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 we have um, impressed upon our um, even government of india function is also that many a time um, um, are maybe in these cases of social security pensions for elderly people and uh, for the people who are suffering from many diseases that delivery at doorstep is much better cash disbursement is better than um, uh, you know uh, DB, uh, here um, uh, uh, DBT um, uh, because the direct benefit uh, transfer whatever uh, is done through banks for all schemes in AP for 99% um, it is DBT only for pension it is uh, uh, a door to door uh, disbursement is done if this is um, 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 uh, found to be better um, uh, mainly for sociological reasons because an elderly person um, if he is um, uh, you know his bank account is bank account is credited every month he has to go to bank to withdraw or he has to go to ATM center to withdraw. 
many a time he sends his son or daughter in law goes and withdraws he doesn't get that money so by you know giving this door to door disbursement is done many of the elderly people have you know um, uh, they are able to live with dignity uh, social dignity and they get respect they deserve uh, in the home and many physically challenged people their <coughs> needs are taken care and um, uh, that's a great um, i think feature um, a, a socially um, um, a recognizable thing um, they are getting a lot of respect at home so uh, this uh, many a people have confessed so this is all from my side so the uh, the methodology of disbursement uh, deserves all appreciation thank you thank you himja yes, sir this is a very innovative way that you have adopted technology especially to reach the unreachable and those who cannot have an access easy access to the the banking and other finance and facilities because of their inability physically or otherwise uh, but you have put around uh, 2.5 volunteers to do the job across yes. the state yes, and uh, are these volunteers are paid something honorarium types yes sir they are paid 5000 rupees uh, honorarium every month every month Okay, so not how much? Employees, uh, but 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 nonetheless, it will cost the exchequer. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, what is the cost admission to cost alone for these volunteers for the annual cost? Apart from this scheme, they are they are um, 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 involved in many schemes. All the government schemes, uh, they are supposed to take the beneficiary <laughs> and bring uh -huh. their applications to the secretariat where they are processed. So there is a good administrative cost, nevertheless. But uh, um, uh, the the interface between the government functionary and the beneficiary is remote, totally. This five thousand rupees is not going from this budget of your, uh, you no, know, not uh, from us. It is going from the entire all all all, all schemes across. Okay. There is a department okay. which is established to take care of secretariats and volunteers. No, uh, the, now. This uh, especially pension scheme, especially when you are uh, talking about uh, the disability eligibility, yes. that you have forty percent disability identification in the state level, whereas the center is sixty under NSAP. NSAP is eighty percent. Uh, is the eighty percent? Eighty percent. Eighty percent is the degree of disability, um, um, which uh, uh, gives them uh, uh, eligible. eligible, which makes them eligible. But the amount of um, um, uh, pension under NSAP, Indira Gandhi uh, pension scheme for old age, it's only hardly three hundred rupees. Ah, no, no. I, I, I my yes. concern is that you see, we are we are that why shouldn't we have a uniform pattern across the state and center? Because the object is same that we should uh, cover the people who need it rather than. What conditions they are, and depending upon the conditions which we decide, so yeah. that is another problem. But that is a larger issue. But anyway, this scheme, as I understand, is essentially you have developed a very, very effective method in dispersing the pension and other benefits to the person at his doorstep. Am I right, sir? Yes, sir. Only pension, sir. All Only. other schemes it is debit. <laughs> No, no. I mean, I only pension under this. Scheme. Only pension we are disbursing door to door, and uh, and, uh, and yeah, right, right. When when the volunteer takes the money and goes and visits the beneficiary, is there someone else who also accompanies him, or he alone goes and pays the money? He alone goes, sir. But so it is, how, it how do we ensure that he gets the funds uh, that is sent to him? There is any mechanism there that for sure. The beneficiary gets the amount due to him because it is biometric authentication, sir. No, no, that is okay. Yes. But the amount, amount uh, again, um, because he puts only authentication on receiving entire amount only. No, because most of the people, old people, they may not be in a position. So they could be illiterate. They cannot, not good at sight, and many other impediments are there. So, yes. in given this adversities. A beneficiary may not be able to vouch correctly as to how much money he gets and how much is entitled. How do we resolve this? Uh, the advantage of door-to-door -door delivery is uh, 
um, um, the household, the entire household knows that uh, um, ki, uh, morning 6 baje the, this volunteer will come and give. So they will be waiting for this. कोई ना कोई ना कोई होगा जो कि वो हाँ वो भी देख लेंगे वही वही जाना तो सर क्योंकि ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू गुड 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 आई मीन आई आई होप दिस मेथड दैट यू डेवलप इज आल्सो एडाप्टेड बाय एनएसएपी अक्रॉस द स्टेट एंड ऑल स्टेट्स इन देयर ओन स्टेट लेवल स्कीम्स सो दैट दे नोट डोंट हैव टू रीइन्वेंट दी व्हील अगेन delivery at the doorstep and the people do get it that is fine but what about the i am really concerned about the administrative cost because anyway there is a gram panchayat already there okay so uh, by adding another 10 uh, functionaries in the village secretariat are you not duplicating the work done by the panchayat level uh, people because there is a vl village level assistant at the panchayat who is supposed to be doing this disbursement of the pensions the uh, the central government pension the indira gandhi uh, old age pension or handicapped and the uh, widow pension all that by putting these 10 extra people what other thing they are doing it, 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 all 10 are doing different kinds of things ma'am one is um, called village agriculture assistant he is supposed to take care of only agriculture uh, needs yeah, that's all right but there is a village uh, agriculture assistant or vla uh, or whatever name they call in different states there at the panchayat level posted um, at, at panchayat level uh, the functionaries are now less mandal level we are having more at the block level but um, uh, these 10 people they supplement the work they supplement the work being done by the panchayat and also in cases uh, they also do additional work like uh, we have a vro for the village entire village village revenue officer for every village we have now there is another vro created in this uh, secretary so he is given uh, an um, a set of work by the tahsildar he says you look after only these accounts and this vro will take care of this so they divide the work themselves so these people basically, supplement no, the basically work. yeah yeah basically the question is you are having say maybe i mean normally in a panchayat office there will be about three to five uh, yes. people employed by the government yes sir. right the uh, one is a patwari or lekhadar, patidar, whatever you may call, or you call a village revenue officer, whatever name, the names could be different. But one person looks after the uh, revenue. One person looks after the um, the uh, agriculture, the village agriculture assistant or uh, whatever name they call. So similarly, there is one uh, as an extension worker. Yeah, there is one survey, there is one... Uh, um, extension Asha, worker Asha. will go, look, uh, there is an ASHA worker for the health. Yeah. So yeah. there are already some five six people working at the village level, right? Also, the uh, from NRLM also they do have somebody uh, who co coordinates with the uh, the SAG groups and their training and all that. Yeah. So, but of course that is at the panchayat level. But uh, that means about three to five villages, or you know, depending on the size. So these ten people, every village. Isn't it going to be overkill? It, it, is, it certainly appears to be like that, ma'am, but it is working so well. There is an administrative cost is added, but now we have a Mahila police. So in addition to the police, there, there is a Mahila police who only takes care of. So like so, this. Yeah, uh, that is all right. Yeah. That is all right. But the administrative cost. Is definitely, the first certainly. few days you are delivering the pension, that's a very good thing. Fine. But uh, the cost, if the cost, the administrative cost goes very high, then instead of getting it in three days, if they get it in five days, how does it really matter, frankly speaking? Because then the cycle will be five to fifth to fifth like that. So getting a lo lot of people get their salary on first, a lot of people get it on 28th or 20th, uh, 30th of the previous month, and a lot of people get their salary on 10th. So that kind of staggering is anyway there. So if you if, if less number of people, volunteers or whatever functionary, when they are getting paid 5,000 rupees per month, they are not volunteers actually. So, uh, I think that cost is it. I mean, has somebody done a cost benefit analysis? That's my only concern. Yes. Because, because over having yes. 10 people per village is a huge amount. A huge amount. They are, but they are taking governance to the uh, doorstep of the um, uh, people. That's and, all right. Uh, but then people, yes. yes. No, that is all right. What you are saying is perfectly correct. But has somebody done a cost-benefit analysis that having that extra cost 
is it worth the service or instead of getting in three days, the first three days you are uh, giving it, instead of giving in first three days, if you make a cycle that, okay, these are the people who will get in the first three days, these are the people who will get the next six days, next three days like that. And less number of people could still deliver. I mean, that's my uh, thing. And then the cycle becomes like that. So, the, instead of getting their pension on first, they will be getting on fifth of every month. Or instead of getting on fifth, they will be getting on tenth every month. So, the cycle will continue. So, that is there, ma'am. Uh, that, uh, that department has got uh, some studies done. And uh, some of these uh, secretaries have issued a lot of appreciation from uh, uh, visiting um, uh, from all of the what you're saying, What you are saying yes. is perfectly correct. Appreciation yes. is also good. <laughs> Is what about the financial uh, benefits, uh, like the cost, I'm, I mean, ex exact in the return on investment or cost benefit analysis, whatever name you call it, a study needs to be done to see whether it is having that kind of effect as it is supposed to be. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That, that needs to, that study needs to be done. You're right, ma'am. Because because we do have a saying that you put more ghee or more uh, sugar in a sweet dish, it will become better. Yes. But is it worth that better? That's the point. Yes, ma'am. Noted. Thank you. Nancharaya. This is Nancharaya, Managing Director, Srinidhi Credit Cooperative Federation. Actually, I am basically I am a banker having a banking experience of 40 years. Main Srinidhi concept is in the backdrop of microfinance crisis of the state, the Mandal Samakya's promoted by SERP in association with the Andhra Pradesh government have established the Sriridhi Credit Cooperative Federation Limited on 7-9-2011, which was registered as apex level federation in independent organization under the AP Cooperative Societies Act 1964 for financing self-help groups. As per the provisions of the AP reorganizations, Act 2014, Srinidhi was bifurcated to uh, Srinidhi Telangana and Srinidhi Andhra Pradesh separated, separately. Basically, Srinidhi is a sister concern of the SERP. It, is, it works under the platform of the uh, SERP. Uh, Srinidhi operates in rural and tribal areas see, as well. Srinidhi uh, operates under what? Under the platform of SERP, sir. It is, okay. the, it is the sister concerned of the SERP, sir. Okay, uh, SERP, sir. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It operates in, ro in rural areas and tribal areas uh, and urban areas with the objective of providing livelihood loans to the poor SAG women in a transparent and easily accessible manner through SAG federations registered under the AP uh, Societies Act. Srinidhi has completed 10 years of um, uh, its uh, existence, sir. It is a low cost, hassle free, and self sustainable model, sir. Since inception, it is earning profits and incurring overheads on its own funds. Srinidhi has 17 representatives from SAG federations, along with three government nominees, Secretary Rural Development, Secretary Institutional Finance, Register of Cooperatives on its board, and government appointed managing director from banking sector to look after the operations. Covering uh, 10,56,000 groups with a one crore uh, 18, uh, 8 lakh SAG members in rural and urban areas of state federa federated into 28,390 
392 views sir so far covered srinidhi has covered um, 38.79 lakhs members and 5.90 lakhs sgs with the uh, amount of 12319.97 crores sir converted as livelihood finance organizations in 2017 now and disbursed loans to 124 livelihood activities an amount of 9680 crores to 24000 24 lakhs 79000 members sir sir in fact uh, strinidhi is uh, uh, a federation uh, uh, which provides financial assistance to only sg women and uh, they access uh, um, uh, finance from uh, 10 um, um, banks at a low rate and give it to uh, sg women at um, um, an interest uh, ranging from 9 to 11% and then uh, uh, make profit on it and the beauty of this organization is that one is that uh, they have um, uh, hardly 100 employees across the state but last year they have provided 2200 crores uh, uh, finance to um, sg members so which is phenomenal and uh, our staff are utilized so srinidhi and um, um, uh, sir uh, they work in tandem and the um, uh, village functionaries of uh, um, uh, the vos who are uh, from village organizations they um, uh, do all the documentation and they take it to the um, sg um, uh, the srinidhi uh, bank and uh, uh, srinidhi also deploys uh, the software which is developed by uh, tcs and uh, within 48 hours uh, uh, this loan is given so earlier the amount of loan was around only 25000 now it has been up to it has mm-hmm. been enhanced to 1 lakh so um, um, uh, the sg women at um, uh, in any village if they want to buy a cow or buffalo uh, they can they are they can do it in 3 uh, 4 days uh, uh, they can get the loan from srinidhi just 48 hours is the maximum time that is taken by them in uh, uh, giving loan so our vos only Uh, work our ccs also help uh, srinidhi so srinidhi uh, in fact um, their offices head offices in our office only uh, but it is registered as a again a society um, and um, the federation uh, has many um, um, uh, board members and share capital is uh, um, um, uh, taken from them and uh, this year their target is 3000 crores so uh, a, a phenomenal um, uh, performance by an organization deploying just um, 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 100 odd people in the state utilizing the network of sir and uh, recovery also is done by uh, these vos and every year uh, um, uh, srinidhi gives them incentives in the form of incentives around uh, 10 to 12 crores uh, is given every year um, uh, uh, to all these uh, uh, village level functionaries for um, 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 doing all this uh, documentation sir actually srinidhi is an a unique organization sir which was started uh, in uh, andhra pradesh erstwhile andhra pradesh nowhere across the country only andhra pradesh has started this type of organization to overcome the microfinance uh, problems yes. microfinance problems sir is a self sustaining organization sir we don't have any grants and uh, etc from the government we take the bulk finance from the gov- uh, nation's banks and we will extend the same to the retail to our beneficiaries with low cost at the same time it will uh, we will sanction within 48 hours at the same time we will take the um, we are doing a digital mechanism from uh, starting from uh, uh, beneficiary level we will take the biometric from entire thing the application will come to the head office within 24 hours through uh, it platform only sir. that is the beauty of this uh, uh, product sir uh, nearly we are uh, uh, taking so many government sponsored programs our uh, um, uh, respected our ceo sir has um, attached so many schemes to our srinidhi for smoothening the Uh, credit and repayment uh, uh, taking the repayments also from the beneficiaries sir 
uh, at the same time every year we are disbursing the uh, incentives to what our ceo has explained sir dividend and incentives to the vos every year sir we are giving 7% dividend to the shareholders uh this is the one of the organization which is getting profits sir, in cooperative sector it's one of the um, srinidhi is the one of the uh, credit cooperative apex cooperative society right. in andhra pradesh sir at the same time we are having uh, simple mechanism at the same time uh, we will go to the needy person we are giving different types of activities at the same time we are taking up the uh, different activities sir agriculture dairy sheep and goat what not everything what they need it's uh, at the same time we are making tailor made products also different to types. the to the to the needy uh, yeah. women sir entire thing is goes to the only shg beneficiaries only this is the um, main thing of that thing sir we are last year we have introduced the biometric to avoid uh, misappropriations all these things uh, in grassroots level whoever wants the loan they have to uh, give the biometric with aadhar based based on that uh, automatically it comes to the different four uh, levels finally we will sanction within 48 hours sir that is that we are doing sir uh, sorry sir for interruption yeah. uh, sir can you please uh, conclude your presentation in 2 yeah, to 3 yeah. minutes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, the uh, existing database of sarp is used by them and uh, mainly uh, the software as i was telling uh, the bank linkage software also um, uh, which is used by um, as uh, uh, has biometric uh, authentication of the member beneficiary Uh, who is taking that is the basis of uh, uh, that is the uh, the basis for extending loan why this is taken is earlier uh, shg group itself was financed by the banks gitato uh, and um, um, uh, uh, many of the members were unaware of that has been what has been taken and how much is there today. they were just taking whatever that was uh, given by the uh, group leader but now it is not so it is the biometric authentication the all the applications are processed so every member knows how much advance is made same software is being used by uh, srinidhi to ensure that it is not misappropriated it it goes to the uh, correct beneficiary and also there is no um, um, foul play made by the persons who are processing like our vvos who are processing there have been some um, in the past uh, some reports of these functionaries uh, you know processing the um, uh, documentation and um, uh, giving uh, uh, the amount of loan uh, discounting some uh, for their um, uh, you know uh, this thing at their level so all these are avoided now by um, uh, using by uh, the application with biometric as the basis the finally sir the recovery rate is 99% sir at the same time uh, every year we will audit the our cooperative uh, uh, from our cooperative department and statutory auditors in addition to that we will take the big uh, rating agency from brick rating sir brick rating agency uh, uh, we are taking the rating sir every year we are getting the a a plus rating from brick rating sir based on the brick rating only the Thank financial you. institutions uh, is extending the credit in bulk to our society, uh, our srinidhi sir finally uh, this year we are going for 4000 crores our target is to give up to 4000 crores of rupees to the uh, uh, shg beneficiaries sir uh, that is our uh, Uh, future. Uh, future of plans are four thousand crores planned for lending to eight lakh SSG members. Enhancement of member credit, digitalization based on the updated technology, sir. To finance, to finance, Chayuta benefits. It's a, a, a AP government uh, scheme, sir. Up to one lakh to individual borrowers to finance the FPO farmers through SSG women to support the farmers under zero budget. 
ஜட்பி என்ஆஃப் த்ரூ எஸ்ஹெச்ஜி உமன் சார் பென்ஷன் தட் இஸ் அவர் ஃபியூச்சர் ரோட் மேப் சார் தேங்க் யூ சார் தேங்க் யூ ஒன் அண்ட் ஆல் சார் ஜெய் ஹிந்த் சார் ஐ ஹவ் ஐ மீன் ஐ அண்டர்ஸ்டூட் தி ஹோல் ஸ்கீம் ஆஃப் அஃபேர்ஸ் தட் யூ ஹேவ் Yeah. But one thing which bothers me, rather which introduces me, yeah. is to how many such activities and agencies that do you provide low-cost credit in Andhra Pradesh. And there are so many of them, so many ways they do that, the same thing, with the same objective. So, no, you, you mean there is no other low-cost giving credit agency, credit in Andhra Pradesh? no our, our um, shg women we have um, um, four ways of financing them sir one is from through their internal source internal savings we encourage the second is uh, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter okay. that's what whichever way you follow yeah. Yeah. ultimately you give in low credit yes. uh, low cost credit isn't it yes. so you have I mean you have so many small small variations in various uh, ways you deal with that why don't you in put together and it is always in a development planning process that you do not have thinly spread out schemes with one activity different from the other while the overall objective remains the same <clears throat> so why don't you put all the such activities in one place and resolve the differences in an amicable way and see that it is a robust scheme implemented across the state in an in integrated and inclusive way yes we are we are working on it sir in fact um, to bring together to um, bringing together that uh, networking would help and uh, definitely um, uh, it would be good um, uh, but um, uh, the beneficiaries women beneficiaries are um, are into all these activities at micro level like whether she is running a tiffin center or whether she is making um, uh, Uh, you know agro based machinery they buy for their farming activity that's 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 the point which i am making you yes, put, yes, you yes. i mean you got it rightly yes. ultimately you are reaching a woman beneficiary yes sir right, isn't it and yes. so every scheme that are you know across the board they all reach to the woman beneficiary yes sir with the same objective that's what i am suggesting that you see you synchronize all these activities and see that a robust scheme develops and all the benefits to go to a, a woman without duplication or some kind of you know variance so that's what my suggestion is yes sir in fact sir if you permit sir i'll just uh, take one minute in explaining uh, this sir there was a um, village recently visited by me sir where we are having many beneficiaries women beneficiaries uh, different uh, they were into livestock and also into food processing i when i went and visited the village it is called tadikinapalli in um, karnool district this village uh, here the women um, uh, the population of the village is around 2000 and um, uh, all the women um, uh, there about uh, they are having about 400 uh, uh, buffaloes uh, some in animal shed they are having 200 buffaloes and uh, um, individually another 200 buffaloes are there the entire milk is going to um, another um, 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 200 households some of them are having their own buffaloes also and they are making pal kova um, kova uh, which is a sweet made from milk and um, um, entire thing is uh, sent um, uh, marketed in all the sweet shops in karnool and uh, nearby towns and it is a world famous uh, kova which is made and which is tasted here so i visited and saw and then um, i am uh, also uh, talked to the district magistrate and uh, animal husbandry department now we are trying to evolve uh, we are trying to construct some animal shed in about 10 acres for all these 400 buffaloes in some place and uh, also trying to get marketing support for all these women who are more than 100 households who are engaged in uh, this palco factory so that kind of networking would uh, in fact uh, make um, uh, definitely would enhance uh, their um, um, uh, um, income levels so we will take um, take it up that activity sir in fact i suggested uh, uh, srini the md also to go there visit that village and see and develop, develop some package for them okay okay thank you you know well, I mean, you must have uh, listened to the some of the presentation made earlier on the seminal line they have so many parallel suits that's what the suggestion is see it's always in the interest of a, a good integrated convergent approach to have a good scheme 
then it could include a number of activities. Anyway, thanks. Yes. Great. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. What I understand is Srinidhi is um, acting as a platform for women to take loan, right? Yes. So, and you said 9% uh, interest rate for three to, um, 9 to uh, 36 yes. months or so. Is it different from the bank loan? The the, the main difference is... Uh, they... just, now, this, just now, Mr. Uh, Imtiaz uh, has pointed out that they are also arranging loan from the banks at the rate of 9%. So if it is 9% from the banks directly and same 9% from you, uh, so there is a competition between and and you are getting your money from the government to uh, give loan or you are also taking from the banks. Then where is your profit level? They are, they are sourcing their um, uh, monies from bank only. Um, some financial institutions, they are sourcing about 10 main institutions are there from where they are getting these loans. And their interest rates at times are higher than banks also. 11% is what they actually, actually no, no, give. I'm not, I'm, not, no, just a minute. I'm not talking about financial institutions. I'm talking about the uh, SNG beneficiaries who are yes. taking, who are getting bank loan at the rate of 9%. That's what uh, Mr. Inkes yes. has just now uh, yes. in the previous presentation told us. So yes. if it is 9% from the banks directly, and he is also providing support for uh, local language um, uh, paperwork and all that. Why should the woman come to you if it is the same rate? I mean, what is the advantage? Number one. Number two is where is your uh, money coming uh, for giving the loan to the woman? The main advantage is immediate credit. Because Srinidhi is identified with uh, um, uh, Srinidhi is identified with SERP. The credit is given immediately, number one. Number two is that uh, additional loan is given. They have, from bank, they have taken. So here, the um, bank can give at only a certain amount oh, of money. So this, is, for this, the so this is a second, this is a second loan for the line of credit. Second line of credit. In addition to what has been... Okay, no, in that, case, no, in that case, again, I'm even more curious that yes. they have exhausted the bank, in, bank loan and they are taking another uh, set of loan from you and still uh, you're because the bank loan, uh, what the previous presentation told us, and the SERP and bank linkage or SLG bank linkage, there, uh, there the repayment loan repayment recovery rate was 99.5%. Yes. You are saying that your recovery rate is 99%. So, and the tenure remaining more or less same. And nowhere we have found that the uh, income through these activities have gone more than 10 to 15,000 per month. Some of the economics is not, uh, I mean, the mathematics is not tagging together. Yes, so ma'am, here ma the amount of finance which is given by these people, he was uh, around 50,000 additional loan given to most of the women beneficiaries. Now it has been enhanced to 1 lakh per member because we have taken up these uh, schemes like livelihood schemes with MNCs. So where we have requested their board members to enhance the limit to 1 lakh which they have agreed to, and they are going to give 1 lakh this year onwards. So earlier, 50,000 was uh, given uh, for livestock or other activities. Apart from bank loan, they were taking from Srinidhi because Srinidhi, there is no, um, they hardly have any bank or any office. SERP office is the office for them. And uh, you're, not getting, you're yeah. not getting the point. Yes. Sorry, what I'm trying to say, I'm talking about the repayment. Repayment, yes, ma'am. In all the three schemes which have been to, uh, talked about in the morning, the uh, the woman's income has gone by uh, is about 10 to 15 to 20,000 per month. Okay. And um, they have to repay both the bank loan as well as three needy loan. Yes. And they, they are doing it in the, you know, in the almost 99.5%, almost 100% repayment is there. So where is the money coming from for repaying? Because the income hasn't gone up more than 10,000 per month, 10 to 15,000 per month. So if with that money, how are they repaying so much of loan back in say nine to uh, 30 months? Uh, no, I'm, I'm worried about that. So where is the income coming from? No, this is they have whatever 10,000, 15,000 is an additional income. So whatever income that was generated by their regular activities. So these interventions have helped them increase their income. So at times uh, um, uh, in some cases it has increased by more than 10,000. Some cases it has been increased by 15,000. So this, this is one activity they take up. The other activities also uh, parallelly would be going on in the um, uh, their household. So uh, women themselves, uh, 
uh, making um, um, okay. okay i get it now now in this scenario it is more imperative for you to take mr panda's suggestion to yes. integrate everything together there should be a single platform you are talking about two or three activities yes you know and one activity from your money one activity from the bank money and all that so they should be put together so that there is a consolidated platform for everything to come together because frankly speaking a person yes it's okay for us to suggest that they can take up uh, so chicken farming they can take uh, take, uh, take up the the bamboo uh, product that is and all that but when you come together a household will be able to do so much yes so uh, by saying that we can take maybe if it is a periodic employment that's a fine thing but you cannot do everything together and poultry farming or uh, buffalo or cow um, the cow sheds having 2000 uh, buffaloes and uh, milk products and all that doing poya and all that they are all full time jobs they cannot be done simultaneously so somehow somebody has to integrate and put them into a single platform rather than having different different thing and in view of what you said mr panda suggestion is much more relevant yes that that that's what we are working we are trying to integrate now uh, okay, wherever possible uh, uh, imtiaz sir imtiaz sir uh, aisa aisa hai i mean this way that you see you are scheme seen in the is the pioneer scheme isn't it sir yes sir this is the pioneer scheme a stand alone scheme i mean uh, uh, in andhra pradesh now that has a credit and viability to subsume rest of these schemes under it so that you can take control of the entire thing under cnidi and whatever little variances or differences are that that could be resolved amicably so that you can implement a very focused way yes. across the activities that we want to support i mean yes. that's what my i would like to share with you as a suggestion sir noted sir yes okay sir noted sir. Thank you, sir.